Oh, let's do a thumbnail. <laughs> I can't stop that. Can you stop? I'm not doing nothing. Okay. <laughs> Dude, why are you laughing? Cause it's stupid. I rather than take. I rather than take the damn video. I rather than take a picture. Cause I can't stop laughing. Okay, look. <laughs> Can you stop, fool? Can you stop, man? <laughs> Hey, what's up, Hoofo? This is Jeremy and Rashad, and today is Monday, November the 9th. I finally got it right. <laughs> you sure? Finally. So, y'all, today yeah. I am cooking dinner. Y'all want some fried catfish so bad. Look. I had a taste for fried catfish. I'm sitting here watching the custom pasta. You probably hear me in the background. I put these onions in here with my grease, and it keeps from having that fish smell in your house. You don't eat the onions well. You eat the hell you want to eat. <laughs> yeah, the onions smell good though. Everything smell good. How many pieces came with this catfish? Four pieces of fish. We had to drive all over the damn state of South Carolina today to find these little pieces of fishes. Fishes. Uh oh. Uh oh, Jeremy, fish is blue. It ain't fishes. It didn't seem like that. All the fish was freaking out at every store we went to. Look at that fish. Look at like four stores. Look at that fish. Mmm, smell good. Look at that detail. Crispy, crispy, crispy. Also, what's in the stove? Cornbread. <laughs> that old egg cornbread from the pot roast. That pot roast still good, y'all. Look. I'm doing some broccoli. Steamed broccoli. And for fried potatoes. Man, that smells good too. I love fried potatoes. Most people love onion. I'm not onion, love rice. I'm not a rice person. You know we will do a lot of rice cooking on this channel. I hate I don't like rice like that. But potatoes is my weakness. If I can eat potatoes every day and then do that to the carb, the man of uh, carbohydrates and stuff, and the sugars and all that stuff. I will do it. Let me show y'all something else I did. Here's my leftover pot roast stuff. I put it after I got to cooking it yesterday, which was Sunday. It look like real pot roast. Yeah. Now, it do look like real pot roast there, but like I told you, it's, it's like vegetable stuff. Anywho, we don't care about that. So, I, I put my pot roast in the freezer. I'm going to let it. I'm probably eat this again in another week. And then I tell y'all if it's real good or it don't taste right. So that's what I'm doing today. Well, this is like a little, and plus the longer it sits, the more flavor it builds up. I noticed that as well. So when y'all do fried potatoes, if you eat fried potatoes, do you like y'all potatoes to be like this? Do you like it? To me, I like them like this, and then sometimes I like them to cook a little bit more to look out like this, little caramelized, little crust on it. So I'm gonna go for about another 10 more minutes, and then I'm gonna be ready to eat. I need to get something to put in my bar here. Y'all let me show you something as we did. So Saturday, I forgot to show y'all this when we was on live. Dude bought two boxes of cakes. We posted they done food versions on these cakes <laughs> Sunday, but certain folks worked OT and we ended up just snacking on them. We got the shit. It was. I remember this used to be ten cakes in the box back in the day. They took nine to five every year. They take the stuff down lower. But anyway, the white cakes, traditional cake, but they also made the chocolate ones. The chocolate one. Like I said, we we're gonna do food versions on these, but we're gonna do something else. You'll get the Friday. But I can tell you this: a quick food version now. The white tastes too sweet. Lately, a lot of the foods, a lot of sweets, been tasting real sweet to me, especially like the nasty candy. But then some stuff ain't too sweet, like juices. I still drink ain't too sweet. Um, ice cream ain't too sweet. But this cake here, this one. This is a no for me. I'm not buying no more of these for the season. Now, have y'all had these before? I'm not buying no more of these for the season, but I will buy these. The chocolate Christmas tree cake are actually good, and I thought it was gonna not be that good. That's that with the cakes. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna eat no more today. I ate Saturday and Sunday, and I saved them for the show y'all on this video. <laughs> so you saved them, so what are the other ones at? 
Oh, uh, did you hear me say we ate them on Saturday and Sunday? What about the chocolate ones? Because I didn't. I only tell you, had a little bit of the chocolate one. Well, I ate the chocolate one. They good. I exercise extra. I walk an extra day this week to burn them off. Woo. Yeah, they even say they smell good. I'm gonna go about another five minutes or so. About another. Mm. Mm -hmm, good. Do you put ketchup on those? Well, I put ketchup on mine. I do too. I was just wondering because my mama used to make this with some dang uh, hot sausage links. One thing I hate about frying fish is I have all my leftover flour. Well, this is cornmeal and stuff. But I have all my leftover meals and I hate to throw away. Plus my grease. I'm going to throw that away. Whew. What kind of grease are you using? Today I use canola oil. Normally I use vegetable oil. I don't fry much. I don't fry much. One of my biggest accomplishments for frying was the day in Texas that I gave away my deep fryer. Cause y'all know I used to love my deep fryer. And when I gave my deep fryer away to the Savage Armor, that was a that took a lot of willpower. So I don't I bet fry. You didn't go out on the shelf. Probably then, cause I don't fry food at home. I I fry food at home. This is my first time frying food. This is my first time frying food at home. And this is not. This is the ninth of the month. I haven't fried any food at home. Damn, it's probably corn dogs. What corn dog? When you made that corn, when he made that corn dog video, cause I don't fry. Most food I put in my air fryer, I bake it, whatever. But I don't fry. So we ain't doing too much today, y'all. Oh, I do want to tell y'all one more thing though. It's gonna be kind of ratchet. We got a new microphone. Can y'all tell y'all when we were doing that damn video on that damn Papa John pizza? They're like, mm, I got on my nerves so bad. Can y'all tell the difference? Let me show y'all the microphone. Now, this is finna be real ratchet. Don't talk so loud because it's gonna be right there in your face. All right. This is the microphone. It's a Movo. I should have done a review on it. It's cost $50, and I'm not telling y'all that because of no bragging on right on there. But it cost $50. It's a Movo Professional. Broadcasting live, we're letting you know now that we are here on the set, the scene of the crime. Motherfuckers walked in to try to get new TVs and VCRs and stuff, and people stomped down on their ass. We're reporting live from South Carolina, WMRG. <laughs> so that's how that go. So I hope y'all can tell the quality of the sound is better because that other microphone we had, we liked it and the battery used to go dead in it. But this microphone here, I like it better. The first time we used this microphone was on the pot roast I did Sunday. I heard myself breathing more. And I said, I love that microphone right there. I like to hear myself breathe. Cause people are like, ooh, you breathe so hard. It's better to breathe hard to not breathe at all. <laughs> so I'm gonna make me a little plate, y'all. Alright, so like I said, this is how I like my potato like this. Some of y'all like I'm a little burnt up a little bit. But I like mine just like this. A little potato. Boy, I got some bread. I ain't got no, I need some real light bread. This is some of that own healthy bread. You know, I want me some real light bread, you know. Then take a piece of that catfish like that. Take some of this broccoli. I like plain broccoli. No cheese, no ninjas. Plain, plain broccoli. And who started eating broccoli more in this household? Me. That's a lot. Me. Well, I always ate broccoli. I used to always tell you to give me broccoli, and I used to eat it just like that with a little bit of salt and pepper, and that's it. Now, the question is, how do you like your fish? I like my fish drenched in hot sauce, especially catfish. Now, when I eat my fish, I like my favorite hot sauce, crystals, and I like to put a little crystals on. Now look, am I the only one that had to pull this off back here? I can't eat that. That little skin, I had to circumcise that back down. I don't like that skin in the back, that little black part. Some people eat that back there, but I can't eat that. That's, mm -mm, that's nasty. I take that off, I turn my fish back over, and cook some hot sauce. Then, Ketchup. Now, I don't put ketchup on my fish. 
I had to put this in my fish and say, and that's how I like to eat my fish with my cornbreads. Not cornbread. Take it like that. And got me eating off a paper plate. I don't like paper plate. But our dishwasher went out Saturday evening. <clears throat> so now I'm having to really wash dishes. And they're going to be in tomorrow to fix it. They better fix it. And maybe they'll give you another one. I hope so. Look at that. Let me tell you. Let me tell you, but tell you. Mmm. Mmm. Ain't so good. Then some people are like, why you had to chew in mouth? Oh, I'm telling you, like, you know what? Oh, yeah, this is a vlog. This ain't a cooking video, so I can talk my mess now. It's like black folk that do everything. White, white folks say you got to have table manners. You got to eat with a salad fork. <laughs> You ugly. I know, I'm so <laughs> black for that anyway. That's good. Mm, that's real good. <clears throat> and you take that fish right there. Taste that undercooked fish. That fish ain't undercooked. <laughs> <laughs> you take that fish like this, <clears throat> wrap it up in that light bread like that, and make a little basket with it. Damn, that's good. So that's what I'm finna do with folks. Been going to get through watching the custom passing. It's here for the night. Because this has been a somewhat interesting day. So, folks, it is Tuesday morning, November the 10th. Today is my niece's birthday. Yep. Happy birthday, Olivia. She is old, Olivia. And I was just like, <laughs> she's 30. Damn, she's 30. I remember I didn't when know she was so close to me, though. I didn't know. I remember when she was born, peeing and doodling everywhere. <laughs> Olivia's there. So happy birthday, Olivia. Y'all. Happy birthday. So today, I'm finna go do my walking for today. I ate Christmas tree cakes <laughs> Saturday and Sunday. So I gotta go walk them off. I ate it too. I ain't even gonna lie. Yeah, so I gotta walk them off, and I'm not mad at myself though, for eating Christmas tree cakes. Here yeah. I am because I didn't <clears throat> really want to eat a lot of, you know, I, I only ate what one or two. Yeah, Saturday, and then the three or four Sunday. <laughs> I only ate like one or three. I say three. Well, that's a lot. I say three. But I'm not, you know, it's cool because today is Tuesday, so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. The next four days, I'm not eating no sweets, no sugar, no nothing. Only no thing. Meat. Well, I'm gonna eat a. I probably ate some fish yesterday, so I'm gonna eat, make me a little healthy lasagna today. But other than that, I'm not gonna eat nothing bad. Now, um, usually, like I said, Saturday is my free day to eat whatever I want to eat. I don't like the word cheat, cheat day. I don't like that. So I said free day. So I won't be eating. Only thing I will eat bad or do bad is probably juice. When I first wake up for the day, I had to drink juice. I can't drink water, even though I drink a gallon of water per day, and I drink all the water I can drink. I never drink. Okay, I only had to drink juice in the morning, more well, in the day when I first get up. Look at that, look at that dog. That dog is on my damn nerves. Y'all, so. my engineer way over here too. Anyway, so, um, but yeah, so, um, <clears throat> I gotta go to work. So I'll be leaving here in about 20 minutes or so. Um, I gotta go to work today. And um, also, it should be a better day because all this election shit is over with. You think so? I hope so, but as you can see, if y'all have been reading the news and listening to the news and watching the news, Trump acting like a bitch, like a sore loser. <laughs> <laughs> Got all this shit planned out and, you know, not letting them get the documents they need to change up shit and all this, so... It's causing a big frustration, so I'm just glad everything is over with. I'm tired of seeing that white, orange, pale motherfucker in office. Golly. Well, I do got one question, though, for real. Now, of course, everybody's going to say, ooh, Jeremy, you a Trump supporter? Not at all. Dumpster Trump. You hear me call him Dumpster Trump. Is I was a Trump supporter, I would be saying Dumpster, so Dumpster. But this is one question I have for black folk. This ain't for America. This ain't for everybody. This is for black folk. What? Trump only been in the office four years, right? Well, technically three. Well, whatever. <laughs> what has, other than three and a half. making the racists proud and giving the racists some energy, what has Trump 
done really to hurt the black community? Like really what has, what laws and things that he has passed to just fuck up the black community? Getting, trying to get rid of Obamacare. Well, that's everybody. <laughs> yeah, but it affects black folks the most. Not really. Well, yeah, that could in be true. Cases. But I'm just saying, like, what laws, like putting black people in jail, or uh, you know, just doing bad stuff to black people. I know. I'm pretty Not sure. For I know black folks for the to come in. Oh, he did this job. So I want to know for real, for real. Other than making the races feel proud, the proud boys, you know, getting them out there thinking that they can, <laughs> thinking, <laughs> thinking that they can, um. Thinking that they can, you know, be bad, bad, and and, and, and night daily racism and stuff. Other than that, what has Trump done to black folks? That's what I want to know. And That's no, what I'm he not. A, done. I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm not a Trump supporter. And when you think about it, a lot of folks in the South, like a lot of black folks in Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia, South Carolina, you know, they hate Trump so much. And I mean, I'm not a fan of Trump either. But a lot of y'all really are Trump supporters when you think about the, y'all, how y'all go, the way y'all are very conservative. Ooh, two men should be together. Two men should get married. Everybody should go to church on Sunday. You should get your tithes and offering. Oh, you know, the way y'all are with religion, the way y'all are with immigrants, the way y'all are with everything. A lot of y'all really are low-key Republicans, Trump supporters. Like I was telling my mama, I was like, you see how all the values and all the way that you think you really are a Trump supporter. She said, no, I'm not no Trump supporter. I said, yes, you are very conservative. You you know, you're not liberal. You're not liberal, mother. <laughs> so that's my question. Now that he's out, what's next? Well, he ain't out yet. It's well, gonna be a lot of hell for the but, next two months. But I heard they doing recounts and stuff. But it'd be funny he do a recount and still, still lose. <laughs> you know, lose bigger than what he did. <laughs> I hate this damn chair. This chair like a fit of oh. That's why I bought it for me. Don't break my chair. <laughs> I hate this chair. So who folks, that's what I'm thinking about today. I'm finna go do my walk. I like walking, but I sometimes I don't. The reason I don't like walking because sometimes when I be walking, this is another thing I want to ask. He didn't tell me I was in the camera, Molly. I ain't know I'm in the camera now. Yeah, you in the camera. Why the hell do people drive fast in parking lots? In parking spots. You drive fast woo, just to go to a parking, stop, a parking spot. Or drive fast to get to the stoplight. Or drive fast to go to speed break. You drive your car real fast woo, just to come to speed break. Slam on brake to go to speed break and then speed it up. I mean, people so stupid. That's the only thing about walking that behavior because when I walk through this complex to get out to the area, Boy, I be about thinking I'm finna get ran over and people be like, why you walk like cause the cars come like this and I'm walking against the cars. So people be like, they get mad at me for walking against the cars. Or uh, if you driving fast like a fool and you jump a curve, I maybe I have a time to jump out the way to save myself. But if I'm walking with the traffic, you can run me over and I can't see you coming behind me. Right. It's crazy. Like, I, in the, it, even in a vehicle, I almost got hit twice. Well, three times total in this parking lot because yeah, the way I had to stop at a stop sign to make a left or whatever. So when I did that, I stopped. Nobody was coming. I make a left. Here come a car flying, flying, just and then slam on the brake, <clears throat> go over a speed brake, and then start flying again. I almost got hit, but they would have messed up their car more than would have messed up my truck. Oh, you should have called. I just got hit. dot com. Okay, <laughs> that's a Dallas, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> so. That's all I got up then. People, and one more thing I want to address. Shout out to all hood folks, 10,000 subscribers for real, for real. Even though y'all, I celebrate the 10,000 subscribers more for y'all hood folks because I really want to celebrate nothing. The reason I said it because, you know, we don't get 10,000 views on our videos. So. No, <laughs> we don't even come. Well, the Papa John video is up getting up there. But that's just probably for people that's not even subscribers. Yeah, because <laughs> when we go to our analytics, you know that 40 30 to 40 percent of our watchers are not even subscribers right. like that's weird i think that's weird but anyway one thing i want to address though somebody gonna say jeremy you doing a food verge video you gonna gain all your weight back i think i said this on live yes though. you did i probably was drunk though y'all when i said something on live i'd be forgetting you gonna gain your weight back number one i don't gotta lay on your back if i gain a thousand pounds number one but number two we do food verges practice really on saturday that's the day we record Food Verge on Saturday, and we put it up on Friday. I know that's you know that's some behind the scenes. So that's Saturday is my free day, and usually when we do Food Verge, we gonna try out junk food. But right. this time I want to do more healthier foods, both, and, <clears throat> both. And yeah. then if we do 
if I do do healthy foods, then here comes somebody, oh my God, y'all do all that old healthy stuff. I don't see how y'all eat yet. But then we were doing burgers and fries. Oh my God, you gonna need to be eating a salad. So you can't please people at all. That's why I always do this to people who hate us. And then that's why I do for my hood folks. I put my fists up. We gonna, we gonna show some love. We gonna grab them tight. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, other than that, um, as long as you take in what you need to take in, the fuck is that for? I hate when I make my point. Here comes somebody piggybacking. We don't need no piggybacking in anyway, here, motherfucker. So as long as you eat, eat, you know, eat a certain um, portion size of what what you do, what you do eat, then you ain't got to worry about it. Because if you're still walking and you're still eating healthier. And doing better on the other days, it shouldn't matter. I mean, that that one or two days is not going to affect your whole. It ain't going to make you gain your weight like that. Well, I already told him it's all about macros. That's it. it. Macros. Everybody got different. Everybody body. Everybody is made different. Right. You know, some people can eat a damn slice of pizza and gain a thousand pounds, and the next person can eat buffets every day and never gain weight. Like right. damn. <laughs> High metabolism. Right. So everybody do it. If you want to do this, your body, your life, do what you want to do. Yeah. But my question is, as I bring this video to a close. Now that Dumpster Trump is almost out or out, what's next? Yeah, what's next? I don't think this dang mandatory <laughs> mask thing. Oh, trash, oh, oh. trash. I don't see, honestly though, honest, me personally, I don't see nothing finna change in America. Even from 1965 to the day, I don't see nothing gonna change. You know, nothing. No matter who was in office, nothing gonna change to me. It's still gonna be the same. Nothing gonna change. And then watching 2024, get out and vote, your vote count. <laughs> Well, but I don't even know if I don't even know if Biden can make it to 2024. <laughs> Ooh, I ain't laughing at that. No, not not dying. But he got to go to 2028 if he do two turns, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That man is Joe like is slow. Little. Joe is slow. <laughs> <laughs> Joe is slow. And dumpster gotta go. Ain't that so? <laughs> yep. All right, then, hood folks. But that brings the close to the vlog. Oh, let's do a thumbnail. <clears throat> Oh, I look rough. I need to put on makeup. I know. Hold on. You got to do it. The tightest video is going to be what's next. So we need to do a what's next kind of thing. Look at the camera though, man. Why? I am looking at the camera. Oh, you know people, say, when I be telling you what to do, folks say, he's so bossy, controller to the shot. No, I am looking at the camera though. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> Stop. Can you stop? I'm not doing nothing. Okay. <laughs> cause it's stupid. I rather than take. I rather than take the damn video. I rather than take a picture. Cause I can't stop laughing. Okay, look. <laughs> Can you stop, fool? Can you stop, man? Okay, okay. <laughs> Can you stop, man? Damn. Seriously. <laughs> Ooh, I'm almost right. shitting on myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just okay. This gonna be real. <laughs> I think I like my daddy. There you go. Hold on, what's next? Should I take one of the pictures, y'all? <laughs> oh my bad. I'm taking you all out. <laughs> All right, folks, like, comment, subscribe, and press that ugly ass bell button to get notified whenever we put up new content on our page. Look at that dog. I'm telling you, I ought to go over there and get that dog uh, antifreeze smoothie. Pia, get, get, I ought to get some new that I can't put that's crime on TV. I ought to get so sad. Mm -hmm. I, I can't stand Give dog. him some um, Nothing. chocolate, di di diarrhea chocolate. Get <laughs> shit out of the house. <laughs> Dude, they going to really be peace. All right, folks. Peace. <laughs>